Hey everyone, Dave Anderson here, Helicool's Helipad. Uh, well, it's raining today, so it's going to be a semi-indoor project. I'm going to try to get this pressure washer going and get prepared for getting the tires and whatnot off of Malachi probably tomorrow. But uh, that'll be in this video as well. You guys stay tuned. So this little guy, which is a float, carburetor float, uh, it was a problem the other day because uh, it had a crack in it and it filled up with fuel and it would just sink and uh, that's just not good. So got a new, or rather a, a used, new used float <laughs> that's good and we're going to be installing that into the uh, carburetor and see if we can't get this thing fired up. Well, we're ready again to start another day, but before we start, uh, there's an unboxing that we got to do here. Uh, this thing come with a tear open. There we go. This is going to be very nice for us today. It's exactly what we need. Ah, yes. Now what this is, probably not know, it's, of course it's in the package, and anyway, this is a new sending unit for the CTIS so I can run it at a little bit higher pressure. And I'm going to need that when I install the, uh, the tires because it'll make the tires last a little bit longer and run at the pressure that uh, really the manufacturer said that they should be run at. All right, just to catch you up on a couple of things that I did off camera, I uh, just took the grill off. It's uh, kind of broken in two places, but uh, for somebody that might be uh, better than what they have. It's uh, just two uh, number two um, Phillips screws and then uh, one 10 millimeter and the whole thing comes off, but it gives access to the uh, quite a lot of systems and whatnot that I'm going to have to tear apart there and the other thing that I did off camera was I pulled all of the battery wires and labeled the ones that are still um, sitting around but uh, anyway got all the battery box cleaned up because eventually I'm going to want to take this off because I've noticed that uh, it's getting some corrosion on these tanks and I want to make sure that that's just surface stuff uh, or if that is a junk tank so that's one of the one of the items we're gonna have to do fairly soon 
but that's going to be another day. So today we're going to be pulling the front tires off of Malachi and hopefully getting the tires that we pulled off of Patricia onto Malachi. So stay tuned. That's the proper RPM, by the way. Well, I see it's just a little bit icy this morning. Of course, it rained a heck of a lot, so there's still quite a lot of water on top of the, the back of this. Water weight. <laughs> pulling your tires you'll see really close right there that's an L and even even on the bolt that says left and there's another L so you have to watch which way that to take these off because some are righty tighty some are lefty tighty or Righty Lucy and Lefty Lucy. Well, as you can see, all of these bolts were all uh, righty loosey. Uh, they do have the word left on the bolt and an L on the uh, stud. And we went ahead and left the top one on just so the whole thing wouldn't fall on us accidentally or somehow. And um, it's probably a good idea to make sure that you Go ahead and try to change a tire at home before you have to try to change one on the road. While you got the tire off, you might as well go ahead and grease this. And also, not that you can't tell from the underneath but uh, check the brakes to see if you got a lot of meat left on those brake pads and condition and security and that would be good so I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to this and we'll get the other tire put on there
I helped it out with uh, pumping it up to 60 PSI, it just did a little pop to air things up, did a little puff with the discharge, we got a steady light, so that again makes me a happy man. I can't even believe how well it drives. It's quiet. It drives nice and smooth. Um, it's a whole other truck. It's amazing. These tires are... I'm totally sold on these. These are great. I am so happy that I uh, changed these out and got these, these uh, good years. What a blessing. Unbelievable. It's like night and day. Of course those other tires they were they were bald. <laughs> there wasn't much left to them. But even braking, it's so smooth now. It just I'm really impressed. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Hey, just a little quick note here. Uh, each tire took us, uh, on average, about an hour and a half. Of course, the second one was a little bit quicker. But, you know, just like I said, I, I just can't believe the, the uh, ride in it. It's just beautiful. Um, it's so nice to have tires with treads on it. Um, I appreciate you uh, joining us. And um, a guest starring here is uh, my brother, Bob Anderson. And we really appreciate it. If you want to uh, give us a like and a comment we would absolutely appreciate that too. Also, uh, up in the, uh, at the end of this video or down at the very bottom, there's a place where you can subscribe and ring the bell to get further videos just like this one. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. Until next time, be safe and God bless. Bob wanted to play.